Hey YouTube, what's going on? PC Games Guy here. Uh, today with a uh, small tutorial I was asked to do by um, the Discord of uh, Bijoyjo. Um, pronouncing his name that way because nobody really knows how to pronounce it, I don't believe. Um, so we'll just call it Bijoyjo. We'll just call him Bijoyjo. Um, he has uh, seven plugins on his website that <clears throat> I believe make the game LSPDFR what it is today. Um, with a lot of the other ones being um, Albo's plugins, being resource hogs, and uh, just older plugins that haven't been updated because of his retirement. Uh, these plugins are the way to go. Um, highly recommend them all. And this is just a short tutorial for those who are either brand new to LSPDFR or, you know, at the same time, just need a little help installing each of these plugins. So as short as this tutorial is going to be, we're going to go through each of them. Um, I'm not going to download them all because you download one, you download them all. But I am going to recommend um, downloading them in a folder uh, on a desktop in your documents, wherever you keep your LSPDFR, GTA 5 stuff. That way you can always see what version you um, downloaded previously so you don't have to go back into the uh, plugins GTA 5 plugins LS PDFR folder and and just check what versions you have it's it's real easy if you just keep them all in one spot like I have that way you can quick glance at the folder okay I need a backup or you know you'll get notified after a while uh, going into the game that you have to do it and you go back and install the uh, the updated ones all right, so if you go to his website, I'll have it linked in the description, um, you'll see these uh, seven plugins here. Stop the Ped, Ultimate Backup, CompuLite, Simple Callouts, Speed Radar Light, ALPR Light, and Attempted Crime Callouts. All right, they'll all get installed the same way, drag and drop. Um, first you want to do, and each of this is the same, I'll do it with Stop the Ped, and then we'll move on with the uh, drag and drop of the actual plugins. So go into whichever one you want to go into. Uh, you can read all the features here, um, as well as anything that you have for recent versions. Uh, it states the latest. And if you're upgrading, if you already have it in the game, this is very important to some, and a lot of people miss this. He will state, if you're upgrading, replace the DLL file only. You don't have to carry over the INI from it. That way you don't have to worry about messing up your settings. You can leave them the way they are, just the DLL file. That means there was no changes in the .ini. Um, and it'll state what was improved and so forth and so on. So the first link you're going to come to, um, it'll say what's the date, what date it was updated. You're going to do main download link. It'll bring you to uh, Mega's file uh, website. It'll load up. And you'll want to click the green download button. All right, it'll process through, and it'll ask you here. I'm using um, I'm using uh, Edge, I believe. So it'll ask you on the bottom if you're using Chrome. It'll be a pop-up window, and I'm not sure about Firefox and all that other stuff. But if you're using Edge, it'll be down here. What you want to do, and I recommend, is you hit the arrow, hit Save As. You can find wherever you need want to download it. Make a folder, like I said, on the desktop or in your documents or wherever you're keeping your LSPDFR files and click save close out that window now you're back to the stop the ped uh, you can click up top here to um, be joy joe's plugins or you can hit backspace whichever one you want that'll take you back to the home screen do that for each and every one of these before you drag and drop any of them because like i said i recommend all of these so just download them all that way you have them if you want to use them at the current time or you want to put one at a time that's up to you but go ahead and download them all and once you do that you can come back to the video and continue off that okay so once you guys do that we don't need the uh, we don't need the website anymore so what I have here set up on the right is your GTA 5 uh, directory. This is where your um, rage plugin hook.exe is. And if you have Steam, um, I will link the, uh, I think the default location uh, in the uh, description below, as well as the non Steam version um, location in the description below. 
um, may not be exact. Some people have different drives, like as you see on the right, I placed mine in the D drive, Steam library, Steam apps common, and mine just says Grand Theft Auto 5 because that's my base NVE LSPDFR folder, which I don't have them in there yet, so I'm actually going to drag and drop as we go along because nothing's in there yet. All right, so let's get started here. On the left, I have the folder. I unpack all my folders, but you don't have to. A lot of people don't. A lot of, a lot of people don't unzip them. A lot of people don't unrar them. I do all of mine, unzip, unrar, whatever, and I delete the zip files, and I just use the regular folders. But you don't have to do that. Either way, you can double click. We'll start at the top here, alphabetically, ALPR Lite. All right, this is what you'll have in there. You'll have a README, which will just give you a brief um, synopsis of what the plugin is about. And there is an installation in here on how to do it. And there's also a section on how to use it. Important notes, uh, special thanks, all that stuff that's usually in plugins, vehicles, whatever, contributions. All right, so all you have to do is once you get in here and you see this plugins folder is drag the plugins folder right into the right into the directory what that'll do it'll put it in plugins lspdfr and there are your two files in your lspdfr plugin folder now if you look on the left here we'll do this one time for this one to show you what happened when you have plugins here that's the first plugins folder in your directory you open it that is your uh, GTA 5 plugins LS PDFR folder and inside that folder is your ALPR Lite which is now in your LS PDFR uh, folder in your GTA 5 directory in your game folder all right simple enough go back to the directory well you don't have to leave the directory I was just showing you that on the right hand side so just once you do once you drag the ALPR folder over that says plugins you want to come back. You want to go right to attempted crime callouts. You want to find where it starts. And here, you're going to have an extra folder. It's going to be the README. It's going to be plugins. And the extra folder is LSPDFR. Now, that's going to contain most likely audio files and stuff like that. That's why you want to drag both of those files in. So, highlight plugins, highlight LSPDFR for attempted crime callouts and you want to drag them right over into the directory. As you can see, these two folders will highlight and everything went into those folders right there. All right, now let's go back again. We want to do CompuLite. Open that until it says plugins. Now, this is the first instance if you do it in this order that you'll run into ragenativeui.dll. Now the current version for Rage Native is 1.6.3.0 so you want to highlight that highlight plugins drag them in to your directory all right now rage native ui dll is the um, menu system that uh, lspdfr uses some people and keep this in mind will install all of uh, be Joy Joe's plugins and then they'll go back and they'll download something from 2017 and that will have a different Rage Native UI that was an earlier version like 1.6.1 so that's why sometimes these menus crash and stuff like that just watch your installs for this Rage Native make sure it's 1.6.3 alright so now that's over with CompuLite we want to go to simple callouts again plugins LSPDFR, drag them into your directory. They'll go right in. Next up, Speed Radar Lite. This only has a plugins folder. Drag that right into the directory. Stop the ped. This also has a rage native UI.dll and a plugins folder. Now, you don't have to drag the Rage over again, it's just going to overwrite it, but it's a good idea, uh, especially if maybe you don't have it already. So, 
I recommend with the newer plugins, just drag it over. It's just going to ask you to overwrite it and replace it. And as long as you know that that's the same version and not an earlier version, go ahead and replace the file. Ultimate Backup. Again, has a Rage Native and a Plugins. Take those two folders, files, drag it into the directory. Replace the Rage Native UID.dll. And that is the last plugin. And now in your GTA folder, if you go into your plugins, LSPDFR, it will have all your LSPDFR plugins right here and all the folders that require for um, other plugins such as Vocal Dispatch, Ultimate Backups, Stop to Ped. Uh, all your folders are right there. Please Smart Radio. Compulate and so forth. So now you have all the files that you need to run these uh, plugins, and that's it. All you have to do is um, go on duty in the game, and these will automatically load up for you. Any um, any questions or anything, uh, visit his as Discord. That'll also be in the description below. And um, as long as you get the install right, you should be okay. So uh, with that being said, man, guys, that's it. You installed all of his plugins, and uh, hope that helps some of you out there. Like again, it's very basic and very simple, but uh, just wanted to get this out there, and um, hope you guys enjoyed the game. All right, so check me out on my channel. I got LSPDFR um, videos uh, that I upload, and uh, really appreciate it if you uh, come and check them out. So uh, with that said. You guys have a good night.